Good morning, I'm Luke Rambo. And I'm Carmen Riley. Welcome to Channel 204 News. Breaking news, the novel The Gilda Stories is alarmingly low on the book rating scale, sending it to Grace out in the field with the live updates. Thanks, Luke. That's right. The Gilda Story's latest rating is a, a 3 out of 10. This supernatural story that focuses on a black bisexual vampire does not stack up against novels such as Children of Blood and Bone and Kindred. For the folks at home, here's a visual representation of how it's stacked up. At number 9, you can see Children of Blood and Bone scores very high. Kindred is at a solid 7. Blood Child, the short story we read at the beginning of the semester, is at a five. And then all the way at the very end, at number three, is the Gilda Stories. Back to you guys. More on the developing story, Channel 204 News has recently received what the critics are saying about this book. The first complaint we heard from readers is that the characters in the novel are grossly underdeveloped and oftentimes short-lived and easily forgotten. The briefness can be seen with Samuel and Aurelia, and the underdevelopment can be seen with the lack of identity in the main characters like Bird. Additional critiques on the characters themselves is the lack of connections they create with the reader. Readers were found to have little emotional investment regarding the short-lived characters. We are getting word that there is a developing story. We will send it out to Grace in the field. Thanks again, Luke. We have just received word that people do not like the pacing of the story. Though it was purposely written in a style to jump from time period to time period, the way Gomez, the author, had executed this style made the story abrupt and not flow well at all, furthering the disconnect between the plot and its characters. Sending it back to you guys. Next, we have a new segment with Grace What's those quotes? Hi Luke. Yes, this is our new segment called What's with those quotes? Our first quote that we will be discussing today is We remain because this our home. We both have lost land here. Should we leave it all to them? I will not. By Gomez, page 250. Gilda says this in the midst of deciding whether or not to take the true death with Bird. So while this is a pivotal moment in the character growth of Gilda becoming independent from Bird, its impact falls flat due to the strange diction and grammar Gomez utilizes. We remain because this our home should be, we remain because this is our home. The incorrect English used is a distraction to the importance of the moment. This is our second set of quotes from the Gilda stories. I am Samuel. You must be the Gilda we've heard about. He extended a long, thin, unpleasant, pale hand. Gomez, page 74. This first interaction between Gilda and Samuel seems to be pretty typical. It's cordial, it's relaxed, it's normal. But then, as we see in the second quote, it takes a very different turn. I warned you to leave us, you black demon. He turned back to continue, directing his anger at Gilda. Gomez, page 90. So this was their first interaction, and this is their second interaction. And in the second one, he's trying to kill her. So this seems very drastic and um, very unwarranted, and it doesn't resemble a character's natural behavior. And now for our final quote in this segment, what's with those quotes? I believe it may even be Sorrel, not you, Samuel truly seeks. Sorrel is the progenitor, the father. He may need Sorrel to force him into balance. It might even be a good thing that he's abandoned his self-exile and come to us. Gomez, page 209. This is the last time Samuel is mentioned ever again in the novel. And for being such a major force of conflict for Gilda, it's strange how he just fizzles out. In this quote, Anthony talks about how this is a problem between Sorel and Samuel to fix, but ne Gomez never closes this and his character is left open-ended. And while it is customary for authors to leave things open and up to interpretation, the lack of detail and background in general doesn't leave a bigger message for the reader to ponder, 
rather it just leaves us confused. The last critique readers expressed was the lack of message established throughout the book. There were many topics explored and discussed, but there really was no clear message due to the lack of consistent focus and the vague ending of the novel. To get additional details on the author, we're going to send it to Aaron. Thanks, Luke, for some background details on the subject matter. We would like to emphasize that this is Gomez's first novel, and at a first glance, the novel shows many promising themes, but the way that she has executed it is extremely poor. As a black lesbian herself, she attempts to explore or show her experiences as a minority, but due to the lack of character development and critiques said earlier in the broadcast, the novel has failed and created a major disconnect. What the author does bring to the table, however, was a unique view. It was the first vampire novel to actually portray vampires with a sense of humanity. Gomez also wrote this before vampires were extremely popular. In her attempts to explore her own experiences, she sheds light on social acceptance of the LGBTQ community. Back to you. And that is all on the recent developments of Gilda Stories. Thank you for watching. This is Channel 204 News.